esteemed excellencies, secretary general, and directors and colleagues, on behalf of the United States, it is an honor and pleasure to be with you. We've come together today because we all understand that new and emerging technologies can empower people to realize economic opportunity and sustainable development in the 21st century. Yet as we gather, ITU data show that 37% of the world's population is not connected to the internet. Put simply, we cannot allow more than one in three people to be left behind in the digital darkness. Now discussions like this one can help bridge this global connectivity gap because when we work together, we multiply our strength across the globe. As the draft opinions we are considering at this forum lay out, we have a path forward for our collective efforts to spur technological innovation and bring the benefits of broadband connectivity to everyone everywhere. This path is built on a set of core building blocks and guiding principles. Let me discuss them briefly. First, government should promote competitive markets that encourage private investment and enable innovative business models. Second, in places where it doesn't make economic sense for private companies to build networks, it is appropriate for governments to help fill the gaps. Targeted policies like public-private partnerships are an effective way to spur investment. Third, technology should not just be available, it should be accessible. We should invest in greater education and training to build digital literacy and reduce digital divides, including the gender digital divide. Fourth, network security must be a forethought, not an afterthought. Strong cooperation across all stakeholders is critical in mitigating security challenges and building confidence and security in the use of telecommunication and ICTs. Now, building on that point, the fifth building block or guiding principle is that we can't seize the opportunities of new and emerging technologies if we don't address the challenges. That's true not just for connectivity, but also for issues like inequality and skills. Sixth and finally, we can learn from our experiences and let the lessons of the past guide us in the future. The COVID-19 pandemic is a really great example of what I'm talking about because this pandemic has taught us like nothing before that broadband is no longer nice to have. It's need to have for everyone everywhere. This harsh reality is also a moment to seize. The attention of the world's policymakers has never been so focused on the power of new and emerging technologies to connect us to one another. And the ITU is well positioned as an organization to support the global community as we face these opportunities and challenges. The work of BDT Director Doreen Bogdan Martin is a great example of what I'm talking about. She's marshaled technical expertise, expanded public private partnerships, and mobilized resources toward closing connectivity divides and promoting digital transformation for all. Under her leadership, we look forward to the upcoming World Telecommunications Development Conference and the Partner to Connect initiatives as an opportunity to show the world what is possible when we leverage new and emerging technologies to further economic growth, sustainable development, and human progress. Doreen's leadership and vision is why the United States is excited to nominate her as the next ITU Secretary General. Now, in closing, I really want to thank the Chairwoman, all of the members of the WTPF Informal Experts Group, its Chairman, Mr. Fabio Bichi, as well as Secretary General Zhao and the ITU staff for all the critical work they have undertaken to get us where we are today. I'm sure it's not always been easy, but by working together, we are indeed able to achieve great things. Thank you.